So today, you might remember from the other videos, um, a dog called Mickey, a lurcher, and he came in for reactivity and he's been doing really, really well. He was on my boot camp a few months ago, did really well, Kay messaged me to say he's doing super, and then about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, he got attacked by not one dog, but two dogs. And of course, since then, um, he's become reactive again. So because it's beautiful June weather that we're having here, I brought my dog, because I'm not sure if we'll see a lot of other dogs, and I purpose has come down before them because I want to make it as real life for Mickey as possible. I want to see how Kay handles him and what he does exactly. Good morning. No, walk past us. I'm going to put him up on the bench. Look. Yep. Whatever you normally would do, just keep doing. No, he shouldn't do. Can be a bit of a dick sometimes, but he shouldn't do. That's his excited squeak. So yeah, I could see how anxious he was getting. He's licking his lips and he's giving himself space. Let me come to the side of you. So he is anxious, but he's not flipping out on sight, which is good. So we'll just walk at the side. He's peeing, that's, that's, that will be with him, his insecurities. Yeah. No, he do not like any dog that's yapping as it's coming towards him, or these ex extendable leads, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. He's really anxious about anything that's off the lead. Well, what you find, when they're on extendable leads, flexi leads, the dogs are leaning out all out the time they? towards your dog. They don't like that. No. He doesn't like that because it, it's being cocky. Yeah. Doesn't have to be barking, growling, or doing anything, just the action of it leaning out to them. Yeah. Is, in, is enough to trigger a dog. Um, dogs charging at him, again, that's perfectly natural response. Even if he hadn't been attacked again, yeah. it would still be a perfectly natural response. Again, Blue won't tolerate a dog charging. He will charge it right back 30 feet. He's, he's saying, get out of my face. Same as we would. Who are you coming running up to us? What are your intentions? Bog off kind of thing is what they're saying. So I've just let Blue off. Mickey hesitated a little bit. Come on. Um, you're hiding, you're hiding behind yeah. me a bit. All right. I'll drop behind you, actually. You go ahead, Blue. Wait. Come on. Go ahead. Quick. He's doing good. A slight hesitation, but yeah. he's not going into blind panic. No, he's not 100%, though, is he? He's like... No. But you just keep doing what you're doing and just keep moving. And because he's feeding off you. So if, if he hesitates and then you hesitate with him, you're both like scared little kittens. So you have to be, this is where you have to dig deep and find your confidence yeah. to help him. Blue's not going to harm him. He's not going to touch him, just go wide around past him when he does stop and be ignorant like that. Oh, good, Mickey. Good lad. So you, you walk in front of me, keep him on your left, and dominate the left-hand side once you're through this puddle. So we've got three off-lead dogs, and if you feel really uncomfortable, you can ask them to put them on. They've caught one. If it comes near you, you're going to block it with your body. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he did good. I think you got more nervous than Mickey then. Yeah, probably. No, no. It's easy for me to say, you know, dig deep for your confidence. But it is, it's a learning thing. Have you noticed what Mickey does? He looks to you. So Blue just came at his side and he, he was aware, heel. And then he looked right at you. So when he looks at you, that's when you can give him a treat or if you don't do treats, just tell him good boy. Because yeah. he's looking to you for reassurance. Okay. Blue free. Yeah, he, don't, he won't take treats outside. I've tried and he just... He's not, not interested. So he's not interested at all. So we've got another two dogs coming past us. 
My dog's just in training, he's not brilliant, so... Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> he did that to you, Blue. He didn't do it to you, Vicky, he just pointed at Blue. <laughs> not bothered, are you, mate? He did good then, Mickey, and I think you did a little bit better as well. It's good that he's not, um, even though we're behind you, his lead's nice and loose still, he's not flapping or anything, is he? No. Generally, he prefers the mother dog to be, he likes to be able to... In front, in yeah. Front. Pre he don't like somebody behind him that he doesn't... Yeah. I mean, he's got used to blue now, do not Yeah, yeah. If it was a dog unknown to him, he would be looking... Yeah, again, that's yeah. normal dog behaviour. And again, if I do, if I humanise it, same as us, if somebody's walking close yeah, behind no, us that yeah. you don't know, you're always a bit uncomfy, aren't you? Yeah. So we've got another dog coming past. Keep going, you're... Oh, yeah, wait, if they put down the lead, wait. Sorry, I was going to say, you're slowing down. Marlin. Did good, didn't he? 